Hi, my name's Kaz. Welcome to my mind and body class this morning. I work here at Christchurch University and we work alongside our parks to deliver these classes for you. You just need a mat. Uh, you don't need any shoes or socks on. Um, if you've got special yoga socks, then obviously you can wear those, but they need a bit of grip. So we're going to get started. We're going to lie. Um, we're going to come down to the floor onto our knees into our child's pose. So you want your knees about shoulder width, hip width apart, and you're going to lean your chest on those thighs. Bring your arms in front of you and have your head heavy on the mat. Now, if you've got tight hips and this is not, un it's a bit uncomfortable for you and your bottom's right off on your heels. What you can do to try and get that neutral spine is you can stack your fists like one potato, two potato, and just rest on there so that we, because we always want to try and channel our neutral spine. So we want to try and keep a nice straight back. So if we're down here and our butt's right off our heels, that takes away from that straight spine. So we're one potato, two potato, we'll keep a nice line if you need to. We can bring our arms down by our side as well, if that's comfy, which is a traditional child's pose or our extended child's pose where we bring our arms in front of us, forehead on the mat. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Think about your yogic breath where we belly breath with deep all the way down to the abdominals. You push your belly out and as you exhale, really take everything out of those lungs that you've breathed in today, maybe that wasn't good. Let it all out. We're going to rise up slowly onto our all fours. So we're going to make sure that our shoulders are over our wrists. Have a little look through. Are your knees thereabouts underneath your hips? Lovely. You're going to ding your right arm up in front of you, keeping your eye gaze to the floor. And you're going to bring that back. You're going to do the same on the other side. So we want to try and keep a nice sort of straight arm up as much as you can. But if it starts to get all the way up and you start tipping, yeah, that takes it again away from our neutral spine. So we just want to take it up as far as we can. If we've got shoulder problems and it's a bit uncomfortable, bring it down. Then we don't want to make it any more uncomfortable. We're going to do the right arm again, but we're going to lift our left leg up at the same time. So it's opposite corners up. And again, this is going to help our balance. This is going to work the strength in our shoulders. So we want to try and keep a nice straight line running from the fingertips all the way to the back. Bring that down and onto the other side. Try to keep your eye gaze on the floor if you can. Try not to lean. Remember, if you're starting to lean to the side, take your lower and the limbs down a little bit and back. We're going to do that again on the other side. Lift it up. This time we're going to take it out just a little bit. Bring it back and down. I want you to do a few of those on each side. So alternate for me. Bring it up. Take it out. In and back. So we want to see how wide we can get our hips this morning, but keeping that nice level a couple of times on each side. So we're alternating, taking it out. But remember, try not to lean to one side. This is going to create balance, core strength we've got here. Straight arm up in front, leg behind. One more wherever you are, sit back into your child's pose. Sit back into our child's pose. So we want to work on our flexibility today. Lots of flexibility and balance. We're going to push our toes, curl our toes under. We're going to push into our downward facing dog. So you're going to make sure again that you've got your feet, have a little look through, are your feet underneath your hips, 
fingers and toes facing forward, ears in between our biceps. Just shake your head to see if that's the case. We push our hips high and we push our chest towards our thighs, keeping a nice straight back. We can take our heels close to the floor if we want to, but that's all going to depend on our hamstring flexibility. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're doing it any better than anyone else. And you're going to lift your right leg in the air. So almost like we did in right all fours, trying to keep that balance and bring it back. So have a little look. Are you tipping to one side? Bring the other leg up. Try not to tip to one side. If your leg is only sort of midway, that's fine as long as you're not tipping. If you take it all the way up and we start coming over to some type of scorpion, then we're not doing the balance, yeah? So we want a balance. Alternate and do it a couple of times on each side. Take it up, watching that foundation leg to make sure it stays in that balance. So you squeeze your bottom, you hold your core tight, take the other one up. Alternate a couple of times on each side, making sure we're not leaning. One more time on ever, whatever side you're on. And you're going to walk your hands in behind your hat. Walk your feet in behind your hands. So we're going to come straight up into our sun salutations, which is a little, I'm not sure what that is. It's basically a little demo that we do to raise our pulse. So we're going to roll up really slowly, roll up really slowly. And we're going to come into our mountain pose. And to set our mountain pose up, we're going to do that quickly. So our mountain pose is what we want to channel all the time. And we want to take our feet and get them really close together. Then we take our toes out. Then we take our heels out and that should create a nice little sort of hip width distance that we want to create for our mountain pose. Okay. We have a slight tiny bend in the knee always to engage all the muscles in the legs. We have our shoulders relaxed, arms down by our side, chest and eye gaze are forward. There's your mountain pose. To extend our mountain, we reach up. So we bring our hands into our prayer position. And that is our extended mountain pose. So everything's remained the same when it comes to our neutral spine. Shoulders are relaxed. Slight bend in the knee, eye and chest gaze forward. You're going to take them really wide and dive down into that forward fold. Hang your head really heavy in this fold. We want to try and use that weight to stretch our spine a little bit more. Palms flat on the floor. Take your right leg back. Take your left leg back into that downward facing dog again. We've been here. We've done that. We know hips are high. Fingers and toes forward. And from here, I want you to watch your hands and your feet, and that they go nowhere. They're glued to the floor. All you do is roll your body forward. Roll your body forward so that your shoulders are now over your wrists and you're in that high plank position. Bring your knees to the floor. Feet flat on the floor. And you are going to come down into... Are we all there? I'm going to come down into our cobra. So all you need to do is squeeze your elbows in really slowly. I want you to do this as slowly as you possibly can. Come down, come halfway, and then come up for your baby cobra. So our chest is just off the floor. There's like a hair's breadth in between the floor and your chest. Your elbows are tucked in nice and tight. Your eye gaze is forward thighs and everything else are on the floor curl your toes under push back into that nice downward dog position right leg comes in between your hands so if you can't get it in there straight away then use so i'm going to show you 
use your arms, use your hands, grab it in, because we want to try and create that pose so that we don't have to do much more effort with the feet and move them all about. And we want to create that nice lunge position straight away. Bring that back leg in and rise up. So we're going to do this three more times. Second time, just as slowly. So you're going to remember these little sequences. This is going to help. This is our mind and body class. So we're going to help our memories as well. Take a nice dive forward. Hang your head heavy. Yeah. Think about left foot comes back. Right foot comes back into your down dog. So once you've planted your feet and your hands, they stay there. Then you roll forward into that plank. So now your shoulders are over your wrists. Knees come down. And you are going to come down as slowly as you possibly can. Slow. Put all of that weight into those triceps. And this time we're going to come up for a full cobra. But full cobra doesn't mean that we lock our arms out. It just means that we come up from navel off the floor. Elbows still tucked in looking forward so sphinx cobra whatever you want to call it same thing curl your toes under push back into that downward facing dog left foot comes in for that lunge you can help it forward if you need to remember take that back foot in hang your head heavy let's take it all the way up so in your own time you're going to do this a breadth to a move, okay? Every breath to a move. So, inhale, exhale to come down into that fold. Inhale, step back into your downward facing dog. Push hips high, you exhale, you come forward into your plank. Inhale, knees down, squeeze down. And then you're gonna push up. Inhale here, curl your toes under, push back. Right foot comes in for that inhale. Left foot follows shortly behind. Inhale to come up. Last time. Fold. Exhale as you come down. And we're going to squeeze our chest towards our thighs. Left foot comes back. Right foot comes back to follow into that downward facing dog. Come into your plank, every breath, move, knees down, squeeze down, and then you come halfway up into that cobra, into that sphinx. Curl your toes, push back, stay here. So hopefully we're just catching our breath and we should feel a little bit warmer now. Take your left foot into your lunge. Take your left foot into your lunge and we're going to just bring the back knee down. Just bring the back knee down on the floor for me. And you're going to rise up. So I'm going to do it this way so that I can see you all. So we're going to come into that lunge. So let's look at our lunge. Yeah, we don't want our legs in line. That's going to take your center off. What we want is just that nice hip width distance apart. Here, that's it, create a nice, if it's too much on your knees, grab a cushion or something underneath. Hands, one, to, one on top of the other. Here, this is our lunge. We're gonna take a deep breath in here. And as we inhale, bring your arms up really high. This is our extension. We are gonna extend the back by looking up, taking that eye gaze back with those arms. If we can, if this is too much pressure on your lower back, you know what your body's able to do this morning, take it where it needs to go. Hands back on your knee, swap it over to the other side. So we set it up, they're not in line, we wanna create a nice little balance. Hand on the top of the other, at the front here. Let's have a look, have we got our knee on top of our ankle rather than forward? Yeah, from the side. We wanna create a nice 90-90 wherever we are with these lunges. We lift our arms up as we inhale, taking that eye gaze up. 
Take that eye gaze up, holding your tummy tight. As we inhale, push your belly out one more time and come down. Okay, so we're gonna do that on the other side. This time, we're gonna try and make our extension even bigger if we can. Other option, we're gonna bring the back leg up as well, okay? So find your nice lunge position, kneeling for now. Little bit of support if we need it, hands on your knees. And you're gonna take, you'll curl your toes under and lift up. If you need to put your hands on the floor to get you a bit of balance, take your leg back a little bit and get here, that's fine. But really we should have our hands and feet glued to the floor where they need to be and they're up and down. We take our arms up high. We squeeze that bum cheek at the back. How much more can you extend by lifting up and back? Hold it really tight and strong here. Exhale and come down, swap it over. So we set everything up. We've got that 90-90 already. Yeah, so if we create a 90-90, it should be so much easier just to curl those toes under at the back and go, whoop, lifting our arms up high, squeezing that belly at the back, eye gaze up, extension in the back. So we know what our bodies can do. I want you to stay there for a couple more breaths. Take a really deep breath in. Exhale as you sink down, come back into your child's pose. So we know what our bodies can do, yeah? If we have bad knees, if we have bad backs, if we have bad shoulders, then we need to make sure that we do the poses and adapt them to what our bodies can do. In your child's pose, just have a really nice stretch of those arms. A little bit more extension. So this time we're gonna to come to our kneeling position. You're gonna make sure that your knees are under your hips. So again, if this hurts your knees, have a little cushion underneath, yeah? That's why I double my mats up. I have arthritis in my knees. And it's not very comfortable, but that doesn't stop me from doing the poses for you, yeah? Because I don't want to make your restrictions the same as mine need to be. We're doing everything. So we're going to try our camel pose. There's three options. We can have both our hands on our lower back. We hold our tummies in and we take our eye gaze up and we lean back as much as we can that feels comfortable. That's one option. Second option is one hand on the heel, one hand on the heel. So you really have to come back. You lift the other arm high in the air. But with this, we want to make sure that our shoulders are still parallel. So we don't want to lean to one side. I mean, it feels like we should do because we're sort of lower. But that's where your control of getting your shoulders and pulling it back into that extension will come. So this feels like it's, well, that's it. I'm leaning to one side so how my body should go. But what we want to try and achieve is taking that shoulder back so that we've still stretched and not got that stretch on this side as such. So that's our neutral spine. Second option, if you feel it, both hands on the back lifting high, eye gaze up, tummies tight is your other option. So take your options. I want you to do about 10 breaths here. So remember we can start here. Let that belly out as we breathe in our yogic breath. Yeah, and then maybe lean back a little bit more if you can. Alternate your arms if you've just done one. Try both if you can. If you can't, this does require flexibility. We stay here, yeah? And if that's too much, we can always put our hands on our hips, look up and lean back as much as we can. We do what our bodies tell us to do. So take your last couple of breaths in whatever pose you are in. Pushing that belly out. 
eye gaze up. That's it, lovely. One more breath and come back into your child's pose. So when we do an extension, we want to counter pose with deflection so that we can curve that spine back and find our neutral spine, yeah? Our spines aren't meant to curve. Yeah, that's certain conditions if they are constantly like that, like scoliosis, lordosis, you might have those different ailments. So obviously adapt accordingly. One last breath here in our child's pose. Really, really help with that extension that we've done. And we're gonna come into our seated position. Seated. We're gonna do a nice seated side bend. So you're gonna take your legs as wide as they'll go this morning. As wide as they'll go. You're gonna take your right hand and put it next to your bottom. Right hand next to your bottom. You're gonna take your left arm up and you're gonna bring your arm all the way over your head. So we've got this arm for stability and support. What can we do with it? Because we're really flexible, Kaz, I'm really flexible, yeah, so we wanna take it down, what can we do? What can you do? You take your elbow to the floor and you lean over. But I want you to watch what I don't wanna see. So if we're here, lovely, we're creating a nice side bend, nice C shape. If we bring our elbow down and start doing this, coming out of our neutral spine, you're unfortunately not quite flexible enough to do that, so you come back. If you can bring your elbow over and you stay in that nice neutral spine, yeah, that is flexibility. Your body's allowing you to do that, but make sure you don't come forward. Have a little think about what your body is doing and do what you can to create that neutral spine always rather than the full forward. Take a deep breath here. You're gonna lift up back to your center. Lift up back to your center. Make sure that we're on our sit bones as well. So we wanna be on the sit bones all the time. So I've lost a bit of weight and I seem to have lost it in my bum. It's actually really uncomfortable to sit now, but I need to get my padding back. I think I need a cushion. But make sure we're sitting on our sit. And that actually shows me that I'm sitting on my sit bones. If you're sitting back and you can feel cushion, come forward a bit and really find those sit bones inside. Keeping that nice neutral spine all the time, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna take our arms up at the side here. So we did side bend, our lateral flexion. We're gonna come forward into that forward fold. We can bend the knees if we need to for a little bit, or if we wanna work the hamstrings, keep your knees into the floor, keep your toes facing up and reach as far forward as you can. We hang our head heavy so that we use this weight to pull us down a little bit more. Take all the tension away from your neck, just hang it really heavy. We could try and work our hands a bit further forward if we wanna put a bit more pressure on that stretch, if it's too much, and this is as far as you can go, that's as far as you can go, but really use that weight in the head as well taking those deep breaths. Every time we take a deep breath in, we should be lifting up just a tiny bit because that's where the belly's coming out. And then as we exhale, let's see if we can get even closer to the floor if you can. One final breath here, walk your hands back. We're gonna do our C shape on the other side. So you might be a little bit more flexible on this side. So we always start with our hand next to our bottom. We take the other arm over, palm is facing down. Remember, we wanna create the C shape. So you've gotta imagine as if you're between two panes of glass and that you're not allowed to fall forward, otherwise you'd smack your head. But remember the options, we can come down if we are able to reach further over. Yeah, if you're here, get back up. Yeah, we want to make sure that we make the most of the poses. We want to work the right group of muscles. There's no point to doing the move, yeah? Taking that deep breath in. Bring it up. And we're going to try and work. We're going to do that forward fold again, but we're going to open the hips a little bit more. Rather than wide legs, we're going to come into our star pose. If you can, if you can, if you want to stay in your wide legs, that's absolutely 
perfect and you stay there and you practice your forward fold. If you're flexible and you want to give it a go, come into your star pose, your bound angle, you have the flat of your feet together. You can bring those heels into your groin if that's what your hips allow you to do. You're going to reach up to the side and you're going to fall forward. So we're putting a little bit more pressure on those hips. We are opening, proper opening our hips and we are going to push forward and maybe add a little bounce to see what you can actually get your hips to do. Tiny little bounce. Otherwise, if this is as far forward as you can go and you're staying in your wide leg, that's fine. We're still getting a nice stretch on the spine. But a little added extra hip, we come into our star pose. We hang our head really heavy, take all the tension away, reach forward. There we lovely. Remember to take those deep breaths. One more breath here. Lovely. We're going to do a little twist. Hopefully we can get this done in time. So I want you just to take your um, right leg and bring it in and past your groin so that your heel is next to your bottom. If that makes any sense, hopefully. Then we're going to take this other leg and we're going to wrap it over. Wrap it over. So hopefully that made sense. So from here, you take that right leg and you bring it past so that your heel's just next to your bottom. Have a little, yeah, heel's next to the bottom. She said, bring this over. Ah, marvelous, we're here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean your chest towards that knee and you're gonna hug it. So you've turned your whole chest to face that knee and you're gonna hug it in. Yeah, this is a pose. But it's the pregnancy option. If you're pregnant, you can do that. But what we want is we want to close off our chest because we really want to get that twist in. We take the back arm round, we lift high, we take our eye gaze round and we feel this in the bum and we feel this in the side if we're levering round as much as we possibly can to get that twist in. Remember your deep breaths here. Every time you breathe in, you should see your chest move up just a little bit and see if you can lever yourself round. If you take your eye gaze further round, your chest turns like it's a given, yeah? It's, it's all connected to the same thing. Come back to your center and we're gonna swap it over. So you take that leg, get the bum next to the heel, yeah, right over, lovely. I turn my chest, I face that knee and I hug it in. Take that back arm round, lift up high, eye gaze back right the way back. That's it, Nigel, hug it in, hug it in, that's it. Turn rounds, lever yourself rounds a little bit more with that arm if we can. We feel this in the bottom. Oh, touch your bum, see if it's hard. If it's hard, it's working, that's your glutes. Yeah, that bum cheek at the back, feel it. One more breath here. Come to your centre. We're just going to cross our legs in any way that is comfortable. Any way that is comfortable. Yeah, so that might even be just your legs out. I want you to sit comfortable. We're going to have our 60 seconds, sort of just a little bit of silence seated this morning. And I want you to close your eyes. Just relax your hands on your th um, thighs or if you want them down by the side. Try not to sink down into that hunch. Yeah, we want a relaxing seated pose, but we still want to channel everything so our body doesn't get used to that bend over. None of us wants to be a humpback when we're older. I don't. A few seconds here could be your only piece you're going to get this morning. So try to clear your mind. Keep your eyes closed, but don't force them shut. Just relax your eyes closed. Thinking about those breaths, feeling that tummy, just go over your trousers and back in again. A few more seconds of silence here from me.
nice bring yourself back into your surroundings lift your arms high to the side fingertips facing the ceiling bring your hands to your heart center namaste thanks ever so much guys don't forget our youtube channel and all our other classes and i'll see you next week